Hello students, Logan Phillips here, and this video is going to be covering our computer concepts syllabus. Now the syllabus is the most important document for any course that you're going to be taking during your time in college. This is sort of your rules of engagement for our class, what's expected of you, how things are done, important information about the class, and all the things you're going to be expected to do. Now really this is a two-part video. Uh, this first part is about the uh, syllabus, the second part will be about the pacing schedule. You can find both of them on the Blackboard environment uh, underneath your pacing schedule syllabus tab. So let's go ahead and open up our computer concepts syllabi for this year. Now, the very first thing you're going to be seeing on this syllabus is, of course, my beautiful smiling face, quickly followed by what class the syllabus goes to. So if you're enrolled in computer concepts, but that's saying Microsoft Excel up top, you may want to double check what class you enrolled in or make sure that I have the correct syllabus up. It can happen that the wrong one goes up, but just double check that you are looking at the correct syllabus. Now, this is for the spring of 2017, our computer concepts syllabi. Now, below that, you're going to see a few different things. The CERN number for your course is going to be the first one. Now, this one's showing 26446. If your CERN number is different, just make sure that your CERN number matches the syllabus that you download from Blackboard. Below your CERN number, you're going to find what campus. Now, I'm a Northeast Campus teacher, which means that most of our campuses are at Northeast Campus. If you're taking this class at Owasso, this area will say Owasso, but I am still a Northeast Campus teacher. On the top right corner, you're going to see your course dates, when this class starts and ends. Now remember a very important deadline. May 9th may be the last day of the semester, but it is not the last day, or it, the final Tuesday is the last day of our class for any of my courses. You had 11.59 p.m. on the final Tuesday of the semester, that is when everything comes due. So even though for the spring of 2017 on a 16-week course, May 15th might be the last day of the class, for you guys, make sure you're checking out these deadlines. This is supersedes anything you see in your student catalog. Now your semester and location, this is the spring 2017. Your location might be online, might be Owasso, Northeast Campus. If it's a certain room, it'll list the room number that we're stationed in. This is where you can quickly find out where we're actually having class, either online or face-to-face, -face, if face-to-face, -face, where at. Now your contact information for me as your professor, I am Logan J. Phillips. Uh, my phone number is 918-595-7485. Sorry, I just changed numbers. Now, I will give you a warning. I seldom ever check my voicemail. The easier way to get a hold of me is through email. Logan period Phillips one at tulsacc.edu. If you need to reach me, send me an email. If you leave me a voicemail, it's probably going to be buried into who knows where. So make sure you send me an email. And on my email, don't forget that number one. Every single semester, I have some student that comes up halfway through the semester and says, I've been trying all semester long to get hold of you, and you're not responding to anything, and you're a terrible teacher. And then I ask them what email they're sending it to, and they tell me every time, Logan period Phillips at TulsaCC.edu. If you don't put that number one in there, I'm not going to receive your email. You're going to be mad at me, and you're not going to get the information you need. So Logan period Phillips the number one at tulsacc.edu. Now my office is at the Northeast Campus. I am in office A132, which is in the Facet Center or the Enterprise Building. My dean is David Poth and I'm in the School of Business and Information Technology. You can reach my division or my school at 595-2000. They are housed at the Southeast Campus. Now as a student in this class, you can email me about anything. I will typically always answer my emails within 24 hours. If you email me and let me know a time that you would like to meet or connect or talk face to face, I will make it happen as long as I'm not teaching face to face somewhere else or I have a conflict. But if you have a question that might not be too personal and might benefit the class, go into the ask my or emergency ask my teacher form, post it there, that way I can answer it once and multiple students can get that question answered. Now for the computer concepts, there are no prereqs. Uh, there's nothing required for you to take this class. It is an introductory class. I'm going to take you from the very basics all the way up to that beginning intermediate stage of computer use, where we're going, where we came from, all the history of technology, and just a bunch of really cool stuff. Now, after you've taken this class, there are some suggested courses I encourage. Uh, I teach Microsoft Word, Access, Excel, PowerPoint. Uh, you might want to jump into some network fundamentals, introduction to computer programming. 
Uh, I do suggest talking to a counselor and they might be able to help you a little bit adjust. If you don't want to talk to a counselor, I will gladly work with you to figure out where your best educational goals should be going and how you can best benefit your future. Now this is a theory and an application based course. Now what a theory and application course means is that we're going to be dealing with a little bit of the theoretical side of electronics and technology and the actual hands-on application. So I'm going to teach you about the history of technology, where we came from, why we use technology, why it's so integrated to our society, and more importantly, where we're going. And the rise of artificial intelligences and the modification of the network of things and all kinds of really, really engaging stuff that I love talking about. But the other half of that is we're going to be working on with the actual applications that will benefit you in your business and life, such as Microsoft Word, Access, Excel, PowerPoint, and just general computer use. How to turn them on, how to make them work, how to do a little bit of troubleshooting, replace hard drives, a little bit of the basics of basic computer technology, repair, maintenance, and controls. So we're going to be working with hands-on and lectures and theoretical. So we're going to use a lot of different necessary skills in this class and a lot of different types of teaching methods. So it shouldn't be boring. I hope you come out with something good, but uh, we are definitely going to have some really interesting lecture, lessons and lectures. Now, the required materials for this class is pretty simple. You have to buy a SimNet software access code. It's a single code. The ISBN number is here. You can buy it directly from SimNet, which I encourage you to do. If you buy it directly from SimNet, it is $90. If you buy it from the bookstore, it's $120. Uh, I think it's right at $120. So I would suggest you buying the SimNet code directly from SimNet. You can follow the link directly from our Blackboard site, and you are guaranteed to get the exactly correct code. Do not buy this code from Amazon or used. This code is specially made just for our class. The SimNet and McGraw-Hill worked with me specifically to get the code made. So if you buy a weird code, you're not going to have access to the material and you're just going to be out your money. So make sure you purchase the SimNet required code. It's ISBN 978.126.01.34070. Now this is a PC-based course. In fact, the entire TCC campus is a PC campus. What that means is we do not have Macintosh products or Apple products. Uh, we do not maintain and we do not teach for those products. Uh, you might be able to get into some graphic design work over at uh, the Metro campus, but for the most part, you're not going to see any Apples on TCC. Now, we will be working with Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access is not built for an Apple. You can't buy it. It doesn't exist. So if you're using a Mac computer system, I've seen lots of students complete this class with it, but you're going to have to come into campus to complete at least the access. And on your Mac, the rules are going to be different. The how to do things are going to be different and you will struggle a little bit, but it can be worked through and I'll gladly work with you. You can accomplish with a Mac as long as you're willing to come into campus a little bit, but just realize that this system is based on a PC and Microsoft environment. And the reason that is, is because the PC is the business leader of technology. Now, the program for this, or the goals for this course, or the purpose of this course, this is a comprehensive computer concept course. It was designed to meet the uh, goals established by the TCC Information Technology work Workforce and the greater community. Businesses have came in and asked us as teachers to teach skills that they need their employees to have. This is what came out of it. This is a class designed to put you to work so you can start making some money. Now, you'll have a four basic things about this. You're going to be gold uh, to complete business tasks with projects efficiently and profitably. We're going to work to collaborate and connect to vital business resources. We're going to use computers and Microsoft Office software with an executive focus uh, to prepare for future coursework, such as at Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Access, Parallel Programming, Business, Entrepreneurship. If you're going into nursing, you're going to need to know this technology stuff. So get used to it, get in there, get hands-on down. Now we have some outcomes I'm hoping as a teacher that you'll have. You'll be able to demonstrate technical written and oral communication skills using computer, specifically the MS Office Windows and MS Office 
environments. Uh, we're going to demonstrate effective use of file management. Uh, we're going to demonstrate effective use of the internet and understanding of social or security issues related to your life, such as privacy issues and that kind of stuff. Now, there is a bunch of course objectives, things that we will specifically be going on. I encourage you to read through these so you know what's going to be expected of you as a student and how these course objectives and outcomes relate to the actual courseware. And then courseware being your assignments. Now, we're going to have some sim books, we're going to have some sim paths, some projects, some lectures, and a bunch of stuff on Blackboard. The sim books are your physical textbook. Um, as a computer concept student, we use two textbooks. We use the Computing Essentials 2017 and the MS Office 2016. Now, you don't have to purchase these textbooks. I give you a version that is digital that you can read on your phones, your computers, your tablets, your laptops. You can read on any computer system, but they're not physically there because each of these textbooks cost a hundred and something bucks. And I don't want to make you guys waste any money. You can buy them if you like. I'll give you the ISBN numbers if you need it. Um, so your sim books are your e-textbooks. Your sim paths are simulations, projects, or hands-on. And a blackboard will be a variety of things like lectures and bonus points and discussions and those type of stuff. Now, this course is completed using the Blackboard and SimNet environment. You're going to be using two websites. If you're a face-to-face -face student, you're going to be using two websites and face-to-face. -face. So you're going to have to get comfortable with that. It's going to take a lot of switching back and forth. Your evaluations are pretty straightforward. 100 to a 90 is an A, and 89 to an 80 is a B, 79 to 70 is a C, 69 to 60 is a D, anything below 59 is an F. Take this very close. I do not, under any circumstance, round points. If you get an 89.999% in my class, I will turn your grade into TCC as an 89.999% or a B. So make sure if you want a A, your points equal an A. You want a B, your points need to equal a B. I will give you exactly as you earn, not a single cent percentage more. So I do not round grades. Your points and your grades can be found at any time inside SimNet. Uh, at any time, you know exactly where you're going to be standing at the end of the semester. Now, there are some requirements for this class. Uh, this is a computer technology class. You're required to have computer access uh, with a Microsoft Office 2016 environment. You're going to need to have access to a PC for the access components. And you're going to have to have a computer system and internet access to do the actual SimNet. Uh, so, on top of that, TCC has awarded you a TCC email address. All of my announcements, all of my messages that go out will be going to that TCC email address. So, make sure you check your TCC email address. If you don't know how to check it, let me know, and I will send you a video or a hands-on, and I will walk you through checking your TCC email. Now, late assignments. This is where my class differs from a lot of people. I have an open deadline in my class, meaning you can accomplish any assignment from the day it opens to the day class ends. But there is one, or there's actually two deadlines in my class. The first deadline, the first Wednesday of the first week, you must complete your syllabus quiz, your Blackboard introduction, and log into SimNet. If you don't complete those three things, you will be given a WN grade and removed from my class. And then everything else must be completed by 11.59 p.m., the final Tuesday of class, 11.59 p.m. That's the second it becomes Wednesday. Class will be over. Nothing will be accepted. No extensions will be given. Anything not turned in will be counted as a zero, and that is what you will be getting as a grade. So I do not give extensions. You have an entire semester to complete every single assignment. I do encourage you to follow the pacing schedule, and that will help you make a good, strong passing grade. If you're in an eight-week course, final Tuesday of class at 11.59 p.m. If you're a four-week student, uh, you have until the final Sunday of class at 11.59 p.m. So make sure you know what length of time your class is in. Now, again, under no circumstances, for no reason, will I ever give an extension on that 11.59 p.m. deadline. I will not extend it by a single second. So if you're in the middle of your final exam, which is huge and worth 100 points, and you wait and you don't submit it before 11.59 p.m., it'll count that assignment as a zero, and I will not open it back up. So make sure you get everything in by 11.59 p.m., the final Tuesday of class. 
<clears throat> all right, academic dishonesty. We live in a world wide web. Uh, everything's connected. All information is available at your fingertips, uh, including my system. You can go online and probably find other work that other students have done. I have a pretty strong plagiarism system in place. If my system signals that you have plagiarized or taken someone else's work and turned it in, it will alert me. I will give you a zero on that assignment and you will possibly get a zero in the class and removed from TCC as a student. So do not plagiarize, do not do academic dishonesty. It can cost you the points for the assignment. It can cause you to get an F in the class. It can cause you to be removed from TCC as a whole. So keep that in mind. And academic dishonesty of misconduct is not condoned or tolerated. Uh, you're expected to do your own work. Now, attendance is super important. Throughout the semester, I will be keeping attendance. There are ways to earn attendance points, either by watching the virtual lectures, by showing up to class, or doing the online meetings. And so there'll be a variety of ways to earn your attendance points, but you will be expected to participate throughout the semester. If you're not participating or you have not logged in for a large period of time, I have the right to give you an administrative withdrawal and remove you from my class. Pretty much the rule of thumb is, if you go more than three weeks without logging into my class, I will remove you with an administrative withdrawal because I don't believe that you have a chance of actually passing it anymore. So make sure you're logging in weekly, checking all the assignments, doing some work, and keeping up with that pacing schedule. At course withdrawal, I do not give an administrative, or I do not give, um, I do not grant requests for administrative withdrawals. I only give them when I decide to, uh, as a teacher, because you are failing to show up. Um, I do not give in incompletes and I do not give administrative withdrawals. It is up to you as a student, as an adult, to watch your calendar, figure out when your withdrawal date is, and withdraw from the class. If you log in in that first week and you do your syllabus, your blackboarding and introductions, you are a student from there until the end of the semester. If you stop doing work at the end of the semester, you will give an F or get an F. I will not change your grade, give an extension, or give an administrative withdrawal or an incomplete. You are an adult, you're a student, you are taking upon yourself to learn and heighten your life and better yourself. It's up to you to watch your calendar. I, sometimes syllabus changes happen, sometimes errors happen. Any syllabus changes is, will be announced on the announcement page on your Blackboard. And there is a bunch of institutional statements that you as a student at TCC are expected to have and know. Uh, there is such thing as a Disability Resource Center. If you have a disability, you need to contact them. I cannot take your word for any disabilities. <clears throat> and remember that all TCC students and computers are expected to have acceptable use. No pirating, no porn, no none of that type of stuff. So make sure you're using the computers appropriately. And TCC is tobacco free. And we are a mutually exclusive, uh, or mutually respectful classroom, which means we are not a safe space. I will introduce to you ideas and topics that may frighten you and may cause you distress and may make you feel uncomfortable. I have my own political leanings and my own religious beliefs. They may get shared. They may not. It is my classroom and I will do whatever I, I will share as needed to promote the lesson to learn something. College is about growing your horizons, not about creating a safe space to where you are closed off and never get to see anything new. So as you come into my classroom, realize that I will at all times be respectful and I expect you to respect me, but you may get introduced to topics and ideas that are uh, adamantly opposed and different than yours. I am open to all ideas. And as a student in my classroom, you will be expected to be open to all ideas as well. Not saying you have to accept them, but you will be hearing them as the semester goes along. So <clears throat> if you are disrespectful, you'll be asked to remove, you will be removed, but I hope that we have a wonderful classroom this semester and you get introduced to all kinds of fun new stuff. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about having you guys in my class and getting to teach you guys about the history and the future and modern technology and rise of civilizations, all kinds of fun stuff. So I will hopefully see you guys in class or online. Um, don't forget to do your Blackboard login, uh, your SimNet login, go in and take your syllabus exam, do your Blackboard introductions, and get ready to learn. Have a very fruitful day, guys. Bye.